All right, so in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys the difference between Amazon FBA and dropshipping. And I have three points here for you guys. I'm not gonna tell you which one you should choose. I'm just gonna tell you as it is. And then I'll, you know, I'll let you choose for yourself which one you feel like is the right move for you and where you should go and which one you should you know, pursue or not pursue. Um, anyways, don't freak out about what's happening in the background because we have a crazy storm here in Miami. So just uh, hang tight and stay here with us. So anyways, the first thing that, um, that I think that drew me to Amazon personally and that I love personally about Amazon is supply chain. Now what supply chain is, I mean, it, you can, it's kind of self-explanatory, right? It's, it's, it's a chain of supplies, you know? It's having a system in place that can go where, you, where the product or the service can go from point A to point B you know, um, as efficiently as possible in the shortest amount of time possible. And with Amazon FBA, fulfillment by Amazon, the supply chain is awesome simply because you as a seller, as a, as a, um, a, a business owner, you could actually have your product shipped from the manufacturer or wherever it is that you are getting that product from to the customer without you personally as a seller really doing much. You could literally be working on your computer and have sales happen in between without you actually lifting a finger, you know? Now, you'll probably have to click a few buttons and stuff like that, but you're not gonna be storing in your place uh, or you, you don't need storage. You're not gonna be fulfilling products to your customers and neither will you be doing customer service. With dropshipping, uh, whether if it's on Shopify or really other websites, one thing that you have to understand is that what is going to happen is you're going to have to um, get the product moved from the supplier's warehouse or the supplier's, uh, uh, um, I guess, uh, store over to the customer every time a sale actually occurs. What I mean by that is, although it's a positive because you don't need to have supplies and you don't need to pay for products upfront, like with Amazon, you have to, with Shopify, you don't. With Shopify drop shipping, you don't. However, every time a sale happens, you have to go to the supplier and then you have to make sure that you tell them, hey, I need a product shipped to this customer. You need to provide the customer's information and then you need to also make sure that it gets delivered to the customer. Now, what if the you promise the customer that it's gonna take, let's say, three days, for instance, right? And who wants to wait that long? But for instance, you promised them three days and then they agreed, right? And what if it took five days for that product to show to be delivered? You personally cannot control that because your supplier is the one doing that and they don't have a system efficient enough like FBA to make sure that the supplies get to the customer on time, where with FBA, that's possible. With dropshipping, you personally are not in control of what happens from when the supplies get to, from the supplier over to the customer. The second thing is scale. You see, with Amazon FBA, whether if you're selling 10 units per day or if you're selling 10,000 units per day, for you as a, a, a seller, yes, you'll probably have more things to do, more suppliers to talk to, but you don't need bigger teams. You don't necessarily need bigger teams. You don't necessarily need bigger uh, warehouses or bigger facilities, right? Simply because you're not packaging every single unit yourself. You're not shipping it directly to the customer yourself. You're not fulfilling the orders yourself. Amazon is doing all the work for you. And then let's say 1% is returned. If you sell 100 units, you're gonna get one unit that's going to be returned and that someone needs to communicate with the customer. If you sell a thousand units, that is 10 units that you have to make sure that someone responds to. If you sell 10,000 units, that's 100 units or 100 pissed off customers that someone needs to support pretty much. With Amazon FBA, the program itself does all that for you. With dropshipping, you're pretty much your own business. You're kind of on your own, right? You have to create your own customer service. You have to create your own staff that's going to support every single order and every single dispute and make sure that someone is actually gonna be there. Otherwise, your business is gonna go out of business because it's gonna get a bunch of bad, uh, 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 um, you know, bad quality reviews or whatever it is. The third thing is a trust. Any business owner understands that the creating and building trust between your customers and between your, um, 
you know, between your customers and between your your business is one of the most important. But trust is is Amazon really makes the trust thing super easy for us as sellers. And by the way, if you are enjoying this content so far, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash the thumbs up. And also let me know in the comments what more you'd like to see in this channel. So when a brand new customer comes to you, to your drop shipping or your Shopify store, this is a store that was simply created from scratch that no one has seen before, right? And what needs to happen is you need to build that trust. No one knows who the brand is. No one knows anything. That trust needs to be built. Where with Amazon, hundreds of millions of people around the world have their credit cards saved on Amazon. It took looks at a button. Next day, product will be shipped to your house. So the trust is already built and the customers trust the platform and you're just simply using the platform to drive business from them over to you. So the trust is definitely there where here, the trust you as a business owner, as a seller, have to actually create it. And if you guys found this video valuable and you want to work with our team to really show you how this entire thing is done, click the link below where it'll take you to a short, uh, um, you know, a short workshop that'll break down to you exactly how we do what we do. Then you'll have a chance to chat with one of our team members. Hope to see you in the next video. Take care.